MLC has started and we had a bowler hunt his prey, basically. This guy is Noreen. He's a spin bowler. He's really good. He's the captain of his team. This guy is Stoinis, also a good batter, Australian. Only thing is when Stoinis faces Noreen, he's not a good batter. He gets out a lot. So Noreen only has four overs. He saves his fourth over specifically for when Stoinis is up and says, I'm going to get that guy. doesn't matter if it comes at the death, at the very tail end. I'm just going to save myself and go get him. And now he's got six chances to take his wicket, which does change the game because Stoinis and Savage need to finish this game off for Texas. First ball, he goes all in, arm ball. Oh, it turns so much. Turns too much, actually. Hits him in the pad. You can see he's like, oh, wanted that. Look at this, just boom, and then darts to the right. Gets him in the pads, but it would have missed the stump. Now he's got another shot at him, but he doesn't want to go back to back with the same ball. He wants to set him up. So he wants to bowl one that's straight, change his brain a little bit, then go back to that arm ball. Only problem is, Stoinis puts it in play and they trade strike and look at Noreen's reaction when he realizes he's not going to be on strike anymore. He's like, oh, shit. Now I might not get a chance if he just gets, he's over there. He's stranded, Savage is up the whole time. He's not going to get another shot at Stoinis and he saved himself just to face this dude because he has like, he's gotten his way like six times already. Anyway. Savage is up, ball in play, alumni, awesome dude. Looks great in the yellow and puts that one in play. In front of all the outfielders, they run and then they hurry back for two. And our dude Calvin Savage is going to flash a nice thumbs up. Hey, good running partner. Way to go. Thanks for giving me the strike. This dude owns you and I'll just figure it out from here. But they do. They just get the single here. So, okay. Okay. Two more balls in the over, and he's got Stoinis up. He's going to bowl this length delivery at the stumps. Doesn't turn that much. Boom. Has him. Now, last ball of the over, the last ball he can deliver in this match. He's going to go back to the arm ball, turn it right into him, and he gets his man. I, I thought that was pretty cool. He saved an over just for Stoinis and then almost lost him. And then at the last second, sets him up perfectly. I think, is that the knuckle release he uses to, to spin it? He's got like seven deliveries. The fingers could just be split there. Uh, but you can see it turning, kind of swings in the air a little bit, shifts, and then, bam, right into his knee pads. You could see right afterwards, you could see Savage be like, I was running away, so Stoinis challenges it. They look at it. And they use their technology, which is cool to say, no, it didn't hit his bat because if it hit his bat, he can't get out. If it hits his legs and, and it would have hit the wickets, but he blocked it with his legs, then he's out. Can't do that. That's cheating. You know, let me hit them wickets. You can't cover it up. We can cover it up. You just can't let it hit you. Get some. Then they go to the ball tracking. Boom, boom, boom. What a hit. He's out. Noreen gets his guy, changes the whole game. Savage does his part to keep the Super Kings in it, but ultimately they fall. And that was the wicket. He saved himself, forced Ornus, got him. I thought it was cool.